Well, happy Saturday, everybody. Uh, yesterday, Friday, and most of Thursday, the day before, I was pretty much unplugged. I didn't look at emails. I didn't look at anything. I'm trying to get over this mistake making on these sheets that I've done. And I did it. <laughs> I have no idea why these couple of sheets gave me so much trouble, but they did. But uh, anyway, they're fixed. Everything's over. Everything will be in the mail on Monday. Now, before I show them to you, I'm going to show you three that I have available. And I'm going to mark these down because I need to sell them. I'm trying to do a thing over here, and I need money. No ifs, ands, or buts. Point blank. I mean, that's, that's the reason they're being marked down. Now, this one has been actually sold twice and not went through, and I understand. No big deal. But the dagger, the file dagger, is up for grabs. Now, I'm going to mark this down to $50 with a belt sheet or a neck sheet or a storage sheet, whichever one you want. Right there. Now, these are going to be PayPal only. I can't wait for a check. I can't wait for a money order. If you know what I mean. So the dagger is available right now. First emailer. Let me know. Now email me please. That's much better than a comment in the box. Because if I get an email. I know the timestamp, And I don't want to. Uh, if somebody gets it first. I want to make sure you're first. $50 for the day. Now, I've said I was going to hold these for Christmas, but I I can't. I've got to, got to get them gone. J. Nell Skinner in Damascus. This one here. Same thing. Neck or belt sheet. This one was listed at $90. I'm going to mark it down to $65. For the J. Neal Skinner in Damascus. Now, still got this one. The Creek Skinner in Damascus. Right there it is. And this is the Curly Oak Handles. Very pretty knife. Very usable. Very good skinning knife. Hunting season is coming. It will be here before we know it. If you're really serious about this one, email me and we'll talk price. But uh, and I will mark it down. But uh, I'm not going too awful far now because this Damascus is very expensive. It's hard to work with. But on the other hand, it will last you a lifetime. Email me on that one if you're really interested. It was listed at, I believe the last listing I had on it was 220 And I can do a little bit better on that if somebody's in. Now, let's get to what I had the big problem with. Uh, the buffalo horn knives, buffalo scales. Jesse, this is the original sheath I made. All right, works very well. Knife fits good. Lighter fits well. The only thing that bothered me, this leather and this leather, when I cut it and put it on there, it looked the same. When I dipped it, uh, oil treatment, the pouch is a different color than this. So, and it sort of irritated me. But the knife fits very well. I'm going to send it to you in this sheet, just like this. And I also made another one. The knife fits in there very well. Pouch for your lighter or whatever you want to carry in there. I'm going to let you have both of these. And this one, lighter will fit in there. It's a little bit tighter than that one. 
Buffalo should be okay. So uh, there's that one. Now your Creek Skinner and Buffalo Horn handle. I didn't have any trouble with this. That's, that's a standard Creek Skinner sheet. There it is right there. All finished up. And all these are razor bladed sharp. So be careful. Razor, razor, razor. What I did this morning, a final sharpened everything. Now, Econo Skinner. I didn't have any trouble with this sheet either. <laughs> Just a standard sheet. There you go. You want a light handle? That is hard rock maple. There it is right there. Same thing. Very, very, very sharp. And I've had, had some questions on how I sharpen. Go back a few videos and or search videos for sharpening. And I have some on there. I sharpen by hand. With the stones, with two stones. After I get the final grind done, now, I do have a, I have the Smith System sharpener that you set up with the stones. I do have one of those, but I never use it. And the only reason I don't is because I was taught by my grandfather the hand sharpening method, and I like that thing. But the Smith System sharpener, the Lanskys, and the rest of them. They, they're great. They work fine. That's just not one of my things. Tim, here is your Rattler with a wrap around sheet. Now this is another one that gave me trouble. The first one I made, I made too small. I've got two different patterns for this wrap around sheet. Uh, one for a smaller knife, one for a bigger knife. The first one. I didn't pay attention. I cut the small sheath out, got it all together, put it up, and the knife wouldn't fit. So, oh well. I'll save it for another knife. It'll work. The second one I cut out. Right size. Knife fit in there perfectly. But what did I forget? I forgot the belt loop. But you've got to put the belt loop in first before you glue everything up. Because if you have to cut it apart and take it apart, it will never be the same. So I tried to add a belt loop with some copper rivets. And it worked. But it did not look uh, like something I wanted to send up. It just was not, was not up to my standards. So I'm going to keep that and I'll reuse that leather for something else. Anyway, there you go. There's your Rattler, the wrap around sheath. Right there. And this is that maple that was harvested in Alabama. And I'm going to call it Spalted Tiger Maple. I know the camera won't get it, but if you look at it, especially in the sunlight, you'll see the stripes in there, the tiger stripes. And you'll see the little lines of spalting in there. Very pretty, very cool knife. Very sharp knife. Which is everything that leaves up out of here. Right there. Now I'm not going to put lanyards on these because I don't know if y'all want lanyards or if you don't. If you do, all this piece of paracord or string or leather or whatever you want to use. Now, these will all be out in the mail on Monday. Also, the two file knives, the two uh, mean jeans, yours will be in the mail Monday also. Since I'm going to the post office, I'll uh, just mail everything. Uh, Justin Reaper, your little knife and your other things that we talked about, that'll be out Monday also. That one is actually in the house. So that's where all these are going except these two, because I need to know what kind of cheese you want. Now, what else? It's raining. We've got a little bit of light rain, which is very, very nice. It's cooled it off some. 
Now the heat is, I know I keep talking about it, it is horrendous. Uh, I have not been able to sleep now. A lot of y'all know I've talked to some of y'all on the phone for weeks. When it's humid and hot, I can't breathe. And it's really, really hard to sleep. But uh, I did sleep some last night. I think I got six hours before I woke up. So um, I would love to go fishing, but in this kind of heat, I can't do it. Plus the pop-up thunderstorms, like the one just came through. Do not want to be caught on the water anywhere, river, bay, gulf, anywhere, in a pop-up thunderstorm around here, because the lightning will get you. Uh, they have been, over the years, they've been lots of people killed by lightning on the water. So my fishing days are going to have to be postponed until fall hits. Which, uh, if we're lucky, it'll be a few more weeks. Uh, probably, maybe in the September, sometime in October, it'll, it'll get cool enough and the storms will stop. So I can get out on the water and go. And we are going to do that. And next year, see, March or April, there's a big, big, big surprise coming. And I will not tell you until then. <laughs> and it has to do with fishing. And it has to do with two famous fishermen that may come down and go fishing with you. So that puts the pressure on me to make sure I know where the fish are. Which uh, I do. I know where they are. <laughs> uh, anyway, this coming week, I'm taking off tomorrow altogether. I'm not doing anything in the shop tomorrow. Uh, Sunday, for one thing, it's family fun day. We are having dinner and a little birthday party for my youngest son, Joseph. His birthday was last Tuesday. He turned 29 years old. Makes me feel that old. <laughs> he was our army brat. He was the one born when I was in the army. And we'll have a dinner party and all this and that. Family fun day for him. Now next week, probably Tuesday or Wednesday, because Monday I've still I've got to get this lawnmower fixed. I have not been able to do that because of the heat. But as far as knife making, I've got two Damascus knives to make. And I have a reaper to make and a fillet knife to make. And I'll show you all, all that. Hopefully by the end of next week, I'll have those done. But I do have more Damascus. If anybody wants something special out of Damascus, let me know. If you would, before Monday or Tuesday. If I don't hear anything, I will just draw out something and make something and list it up for sale that way. Now, like I said, I need to sell these. I really, really need to sell them. I'm not begging, but I need to sell them. I have a mission I'm working on, and it's got to happen. Because I said it would happen. And sometimes my mouth overruns my wallet if you know what I mean. Alright, we're at 14 minutes. That's long enough for me yapping. I thank y'all for watching. I thank you for your support. And thank the new subscribers. Thank y'all for being here. Uh, y'all hang with us. As it gets fall weather, it gets cooler, there will be different videos except me sitting here showing you now. There will be some different stuff coming. So, um, stay tuned for that. And I've said it a thousand times, I don't have the most subscribers, but I have the best subscribers and the best friends. I've got friends that, uh, I don't know how to, how to say it, some of the best friends, the best people I've ever met was from sitting here in front of this camera. So I thank y'all. All right, I'll shut up before I start acting like a little girl. <laughs>
Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Oh, everybody, a lot of people know that JNL Zero is my little brother. Not blood wise, but we're we're still brothers. A lot of people have asked me, where is he? Have you seen him? Have you heard from him? I had a telephone conversation with him that Saturday. <coughs> Pardon me, Thursday. Thursday morning. He is doing fine. He's okay. He is busy, busy, busy working. He's catching bait. Uh, he's filling bait orders and just does not have time to, to be on camera and do all that. Doing a lot of traveling. But yes, I have heard from him. He is fine. And he will be back on a video or so as soon as he can. See what else? <laughs> just I start to turn the camera off a lot of these things just pop in my head anyway John's fine doing good alright thank y'all for watching thank you for your support and I will see y'all next week <laughs>